Hey guys, we're here with a Starbucks review. It's a new Starbucks, but not necessarily a drink. It's a new espresso they have out. It's new blonde espresso. So they have the regular espresso and they introduced for the first time a, sec a second espresso. I'll read what they have here. It says a new Starbucks blonde espresso. Starbucks blonde espresso delivers a seriously smooth and subtly sweet taste in the cup. Our first ever light roasted espresso. It's roasted in a way that showcases the coffee's natural sweetness with a smooth creamy body and light notes of lemon and orange. So anyway, it's supposed to be just like a smoother kind of like a just lighter kind of a, uh, espresso. So Brad got it. I was gonna get it, but they can't make it in decaf. So I don't drink caffeine, so I couldn't get one because I'm just real sensitive to caffeine. If you watched our channel, you know I don't drink caffeine. I just got Brad, we got one for Brad, and I got a regular caramel macchiato decaf. So I'm just gonna take a few sips of his because I'm okay if I just take a few sips, but I don't wanna drink a whole drink. So we'll just take a we'll just take a sip out of Brad's and Ralphie got a hot chocolate back there. So we'll show you up close. Snickerdoodle. What, snickerdoodle hot chocolate. We'll show you, but it looks like up close. So it just doesn't really look any different. I mean, it's just a different flavor. It's not gonna look any different. It just, that's the, Brad, he got the blonde uh, smoked butterscotch latte is what they, what he got. So it's just a smoked butterscotch latte with the blonde espresso in it. All right, so we're gonna try it out. Brad's gonna try it out first since we just got his drink. The blonde espresso, grand, or uh, smoked grande. butterscotch. I see it. Grande smoked butterscotch latte with the blonde espresso. Yeah, it's good. Does it taste smoother? It does. It does. Di different than the regular espresso? Yeah, it's not that, that kick. That wow espresso kick. It's smoother, I like it. Let me try it. It does taste smoother. It is definitely smoother. Not quite as. I mean, it still tastes like coffee, of course, but it's not real it's, super strong. Yeah. It's a nice, it is very nice to smooth. I think this is a good afternoon drink, but I wouldn't do like, um, I probably wouldn't have it in the morning because I like the, I like the wow, wake me up. You like the pillow, but actually I heard, I think that this has more caffeine in it than the regular espresso does. That's what I heard somewhere. I think I read that somewhere. Well, but even though it doesn't taste real strong, like like a black coffee, more like punch you in the face espresso, it's actually got more caffeine though, I think. So, um. Woo, that caffeine's working me in. Do you taste any <laughs> lemon or orange in there? It's supposed to have a little- I don't taste light, that. Most lemon and orange, I didn't really either, not really. So I, I would get this more often. I would. So but like get, I said, in the mornings, I like that. You will like, wake me up kind of feel. He likes the real strong flavor of mm -hmm. espresso. I do. So if you don't like the real strong flavor of espresso, you probably might like this. And if you don't mind the caffeine, if you don't drink caffeine, you can't get it because they don't make it in decaf. Not yet anyway, we asked him if they would later be getting a decaf and he said no. Which I don't know why because they make the regular espresso in decaf, but I, you would think they would be able to make the blonde in decaf, but I guess not, so. I won't be trying it anytime soon. I guess I'll just stick to the regular. I got my caramel macchiato decaf with coconut milk. Mm, it's still good. I still like it. <laughs> Even with the regular espresso. But yeah, that is just a little bit lighter and smoother. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.